Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we have promise time limit. It's again a late code question based on promises. So yesterday we had uh, seen sleep function, uh, sleep question, which is totally dependent promises. And we learned a few new concepts. But before we go ahead in the question, I just wanted to quickly highlight a few stuff. So this is how promises majorly works in JavaScript. They they do have two key key value pairs, state and the result. Uh, you can define a promise by doing this new promise and the executor. I'll help you explain later about the executor and all. A promise can have three state the pending. Whenever you are starting a promise, it goes in the pending. If it's a success, it will be resolved and goes to fulfill state. If it's an error, it will be rejected with the error and that goes in the rejected state. Whatever values you are passing, that will go in and reflect in the result. Otherwise, the promises will be complete. Cool. Let's first understand what this question is. It, it's a bit different question, so I'll help you understand this as well. So you are given a you are given an asynchronous function fn and a time t in millisecond. Just note that this is an asynchronous function, so it will be in sort of promises, right? It will be a promisified function, and t is in millisecond, not in second. So you have, uh, yeah, you have to return a new time limited version of the input function. So whatever we are function getting here, so this is how you will get this function. So this whole thing is the function yeah this whole thing is the function so you will be getting this value as a here in F fn and let's understand what a time limited function is a time limited function is a function that is identical to the original uh, i'll just take a pause to explain something here so this saying that the uh, the time limited function whatever we have to return it has to be identical with the function so here the function is asynchronous right so we have to return an asynchronous function that means we have to return a promise okay now get back to that a time limited function is a function that is identical to the original unless it takes longer than t millisecond to fulfill in the case it will reject with time limit exceeded know that it should re it should reject with a string not an error right no error is something like this we have to reject reject it with a string so let's see the let's first understand the use of this uh, time limited function so in javascript you understand that uh, javascript is a single threaded language so in case of a promise you are supposed to wait for that promise to get resolved you have made some await right your whole browser will be just waiting for that promise to get resolved but your server is taking a lot right your whole uh, in that particular case your ui will get stuck somewhere right it won't be able to do anything else so we have to wrap around our promises in some sort of time limited function so let's just say after three and three three seconds if my promise is not resolved that is i didn't got anything from the server i will reject it with time limit exceeded so this will sort of uh, safeguard you from uh, from any network error cases on or some other cases so this is the use case of this time limited function this is explained very well in the editorials we can go through this if you um, uh, but yeah it will take some time so this was the gist of it i'll explain in more in the solution right so this is what what we have to do so as mentioned before we have to return an identical function that is asynchronous let's start with the declaration part so this is how we return right and this is how we declare a new promise as i've explained this is called the executor before it takes two other function resolve and reject you these are basically function and you have to use them as a callback whenever you are uh, done with your promise now how will we do that how will we solve this time limit thing so consider uh, our goal is to check if my mm, our goal is to check if my network request is like taking more than x millisecond right so simply what we will do we will we will declare we will declare a timer uh, with the help of set timer i have al already explained set timers before but just for timing i'll explain it uh, in a second so this accepts a callback and t millisecond uh, and a time which is what we are getting in the t right 100 millisecond so this accepts a callback and make sure that after 100 second this function will be called right so in case if it takes 100 second like if nothing is done in 100 second the reject will be called that is the promise callback we are getting here the promise function we are getting reject we will be calling it with time limit exceeded so this whole thing will return uh, this whole thing will sort of return error because in the rejected state and we will be getting this as a string but this this is not we want right we or what we want if it's if it's a success 
we want to resolve it right so this is what we supposed to do right this is our function fn and we are passing the arguments so whatever we are getting in the main function itself we are passing it to the function if it's a success we will simply uh, calmly resolve it if it's an error we will reject it there's the whole thing uh, this is how the function error handling works in javascript but we are adding an extra boundary but that if it's not getting resolved in t second we ha we have to manually reject it that's that's all we have to do also i want to ma mention a few more things here this set timeout right it returns a callback uh, sorry it returns a timer value sort of thing which you can uh, store and use it to remove that remove the set timeout right so consider your code is like uh, you have given uh, 10000 or 10 million millisecond right your function is pretty fast it got resolved but your timer is still running right 10000 millisecond is a lot uh, it will run till a lot of time so browser also gives us few more functionality that you can manually stop this timer how can you stop this timer with the help of clear timeout so it is saying whenever this promise is resolved what you have to do either either sorry just taking a step back either the timer will be complete but if the promise is getting resolved first or uh, for example whatever the network call we are getting if it's resolved in the finally block what we are doing we are clearing the timeout so whatever timeout value so it could be any arbitrary uh, arbitrary number it could be one two x five six uh, whatever it is right we are just passing it into clear timeout clear timeout hence the code for the set timeout whatever the browser is doing for the set timeout it will be stopped so this is what you have to do i hope it is clear if uh, i'll just repeat in a second uh, if my timer is getting executed first i am manually executing the re reject right with the, this this particular string whatever we are getting it if not i am simply waiting for the network to complete this call and then resolve it but in the finally what i will do i will simply clear the timeout so that my browser won't do any extra work to make this set timeout running right you can just simply run the code it should be submitted in a second or two yes we are done now i'll help you explain with another another way of solving this right so we have already understood that we can just use a set timeout and this will be done there's another way there is another awesome way of doing it let's just declare it so this is the same for, uh, signature what we got initially now we will uh, see that this is this is what we have to re return right this was a promise what we are doing we are just doing the same thing whatever we were, we are we were doing earlier we are just calling the function with the arguments we are getting here but after that we are creating a new promise as previously uh, so this is the time limit promise right earlier we were using a set timeout to get this functionality but now we are getting uh, we are creating a new promise what we will do inside this promise is we will take care of a set timeout now right that this set timeout thing is here that once my t millisecond are done i have to reject it almost same code whatever we have done earlier but now we will use these two values in form of promise.trace right promise.trace is another uh, function on promises so what uh, what it does is it will take an array of promises and execute the one which is getting earlier uh, which is getting completed first so whichever whichever among these is executed it will return that fun promise itself so if return promise network call is getting first it will take this and return it to the main function if my time limit is getting first uh, remove first it will take uh, the time limit one and return it so whichever among these one it will just return that itself it won't take anything else so you don't have to manually uh, do anything here you can simply uh, do this whole thing into promise.race so it's just something like whoever comes first in the race will be returned to the main function i hope this is clear so if you run it it should again get succeeded you can simply submit it cool the editorial will be uh, the solution code will be available in description if you have any query just drop them into the comments or you are always welcome to my discord channel the link is in the description i hoped it helped uh, let me know if i can make my explanation a bit
clear or if you want some uh, some other explanation uh, i also quickly wanted to talk about the time and space complexity um, i believe it's just big o of 1 in both of the cases or uh, in terms of time it could be big o of um, big it actually depends on t right so yeah it just depends on t so if you are if your t is too large it will take um, uh, if it will take so it's not possible to uh, measure it in terms of big o but it directly depends on the time you are passing space we are not using any space we are just using uh, this timer value so that could be um, a constant thing but browser will be doing some task behind the scenes so again it depends upon your time so yeah this is about time and space complexity i hope the explanation is clear um, yeah thanks for watching please subscribe thank you